Hi there, Darren from Darren T Fitness here. Thanks for tuning in to my video. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some rucking gear that I use, um, that I've been using since I started doing some rucking for losing weight and everything. Um, one thing you'll want to get is a good pair of shoes or boots. Um, some people use Salomon. Some, I've seen some guys recommend those, especially if you do some of the rucking events. Um, you, because those are good, some good hiking shoes. Good. Just make sure you get something with good arch support. Uh, something waterproof might not be a bad idea if you do the rucking events because chances are you're going to get wet if you go do one of those. Um, uh, but um, like I said, you want to have some kind of good arch support, some kind of a good shoe or good boot or something. Um, I used some boots when I did my 10 mile ruck, um, rucking event, but uh, you know, my feet were really killing me by the time I got done. Um, but they didn't really have that great of arch support in them. So I don't know if that, that, would, that probably would have helped a little bit, I'm sure. Um, but uh, Okay, definitely make sure you got some good arch support and make sure that you break them in before you start going out for long rucks. Um, you know, just kind of break them in gradually so you get used to them, especially before you do a, a long, if you're going to do a rucking event or something, definitely break them in beforehand so that, you know, you're, they're not bothering your feet while you're out doing the event and then you have to drop out or something. Um, and <clears throat> so another thing you'll need, of course, is a ruck or a backpack. I just happen to have one. As you can see here, it's got a weight plate in it, so. But, I get this up to the camera. Get my rucking thing doesn't show on the camera very well, does it, from there, from that angle. I'm um, sorry about that, but, um, inside of it, you can see here, how the lighting is here. You know, it's got your, it's got a place back here for your, you can, if you have a water bladder, you can fasten it up here to hold that in place. And it's got Velcro down here. Um, it's got a little pocket in it. And then I've got in here, inside here then I've got a... Yeah, it's not going to come out of there very easy. So, I've got a 30 pound plate inside. There we go. I should have taken that out before. Sorry about that guys. But anyway, you get 30, 10, 20, 30 pound plates like that. Um, But you'll definitely need a some kind of weight to put in your put in your ruck. Um, and then you'll probably want to get some kind of reflective strips or something to put on the back, you know, like the old PT belt if you're in the military. Um, some kind of reflective, and I got a carabiner tied on here. Those are just some things that they recommend that you have for the for an event that you go do if you happen to go do one. Um, but like, so you think you, you like, so you put your bladder and put other stuff inside of here, and then you have. A, I've got a sternum strap on mine. I think I kind of find this kind of useful for when I'm out rucking. I can fasten that up, and then um, it kind of helps the the weight. It helps, kind of helps me distribute the weight a little bit better on my neck and shoulders and stuff on my back, which is pretty. You know, you don't want to hurt your back. Believe me. Um, something else you might want to get is like a pelican case like this here. I've got this one here. Um, I've got a smaller one too, but this one fits my phone better. The other one doesn't. My phone doesn't fit in. It's a little bit too long for the 1050, I think it is. But I'm um, just get a Pelican case. It'll keep it protect your phone and you keep your phone, wallet, keys, things, stuff in there. Um, something else you might want to get is the little headlamp, so you can put that on there and. You can have some light. Now it's got a red lens on it too, so you can, you're not blinding people if you're looking at it. You can turn the red on. That way, if you're out at night or something, or out in reduced visibility, they can people can see you coming. Um, and then another thing you might want to get hold of is a some kind of a wet dry bag. Um, this is a Sea to Summit. It's a 20 liter lightweight bag, so you can put it in like your if you want to put in a fresh change of clothes or a fresh T-shirt or something, uh, some socks. You know, some stuff you don't want to get wet. <laughs> you know, carry, carry a light rain jacket or something, too. Um, basically, all I did was, just when I did mine, I just went and just wore some, like, some hiking pants. I got some Columbia hiking pants, lightweight hiking pants. I used those. A lot of guys were using, wearing just shorts or wearing, you know, uh, those, the zip-off, where you can zip off the legs. Some people use those. Um, but you can use anything like that, a t-shirt, you know, whatever for, you know, for out, for when you're going out. So it's... You know, that's pretty much all you really need um, to get going. Um, I'd recommend starting out with maybe 20 pounds. Um, 
I kind of I started out with 20 and then I worked my way up. I can, you know, I've, I've done up to 50 before, but that just gets a little harder to put the pack on and take it off uh, uh, by yourself. And, you know, you, you can use a ruck like I've got, or you can, you know, I got this. Actually, it's a go ruck. It's a rucker that I've got here. But um, I got it, actually got it used. Like one of the guys I met online, he uh, that was going to go do the event, the same event I was going to do, he, uh, Kind of hooked me up with somebody that was had one for sale, so I got lucky and kind of and got one for you know a little bit of a discount, um, which was pretty cool. And it still it was in great shape, so hey, I did good. But um, that's kind of what you need. You can use a regular backpack too. Um, I went and get something real cheap, you know, um, because like I said, you're going to be putting weight in it, and you know over time that's going to cause wear and tear. But you can start out with a lightweight, you know, cheap backpack or something just to start out with. You know, just put some water bottles in or something. Um, Another thing, if you don't want to carry water bottles, I just I've got a water bladder here um, with a hose on it, so I can just run it out and I can fasten it on the strap of my my ruck, and uh, I got water available for me when I'm out doing the ruck, so I don't have to stop and take the pack off to get a drink of water because um, you've got to stay hydrated and everything out there while you're out rucking, especially in the warmer weather. But you know you want to stay hydrated while you're out there rucking. Um, but that's pretty much what I've got um, as far as what gear and stuff I used. Um, that's kind of what I use. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hey, if you got any tips, uh, if there's something I missed or something, let me know. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any questions? Feel free to reach out and hey, let me know how your wrecking goes. Um, and you know, keep your light on at night so people can see you coming. So anyway, hey, thanks again for watching the video, and we'll talk to you later.